I'd like to congratulate the Faculty of Law, University of Lagos, its management and staff and students, and of course, alumni, on the very successful series of events that commenced on Wednesday. I must uh, especially commend the National Executive Committee for organizing this great reunion of some of the finest Akokites and Africa's best minds here in this room. Let me, let me especially thank the Dean of the Faculty of Law, Professor Ige Bolodioku, for the invitation to come home. Unilag is home, not just because I spent the formative years of my university education, as well as the vast majority of my career in academia there, but also because home, as they say, is where the heart is. And this should hardly surprise anyone. Everywhere you go, there is something, always something, that keeps calling your heart back to the University of Lagos. The real evidence, the real evidence of the success of a place of learning and inquiry, such as a university, is the success of its alumni. The reputation and goodwill of the alumni is the rationale for the prestige of the school. And I think we must all be proud of the remarkable array of alumni of the Unilag Faculty of Law and their great achievements, not just in law, but practically in all fields of human endeavor. I think tonight is a night when we should brag, when we should boast, and when we should really let all of these people who went to the wrong universities <laughs> feel the weight of the University of Lagos, the Faculty of Law. I will take you through, I'll very quickly take you through my own little compilation. It's an inexact compilation, and I must apologize in advance for those who I may inadvertently leave out. The Unilag Faculty of Law has, just by the quality of its alumni, defined legal practice in Nigeria. At the apex, at the apex of the Nigerian judiciary is, of course, uh, our special guest of honor, her ladyship, the Honorable Justice Kudira Kekereku. Uh, last year, she was joined by Justice Helen Morong Kweji Ogumumiju both alumna of the University of Lagos Faculty of Law. Before them, before them, the Honorable Justice Nikki Toby, now late, also served in the Supreme Court. And many will know that uh, Justices Inyang Okoro and uh, Justice Amina Ogi first went to the wrong uh, universities, but ended up doing their masters at the University of Lagos. So they have been redeemed and are also part of uh, that excellent company. At the Court of Appeal, I know that there are so many, but the Honorable Justice Obia Daniel Kalio, Justice Patricia uh, Mahmoud, uh, who was uh, initially, I think she was um, of the High Court of Kano. She served as uh, acting Chief Judge of Kano. And then the immediate past chief judge of Edo State, the Honorable Justice Esther Edigin, who was my classmate. The current chief judge of Lagos State, the erudite Honorable Justice Kazim Aluba, is also a proud alumnus. Honorable Justice Oyebola Oyebumi of the Industrial Court, a proud alumnus. And in the Lagos State Judiciary alone, there are just so many. The Honorable Justice Yetunde Adesanya, Adenike Koka, Tony Ikwaye, Honorable Justice Atinuke Oluyemi, the Honorable Justice um, Adedayo Akitoye, Justice Olukolu Idowa Lakija, Justice Ronke Harrison, Justice Tony Odusoya, and so many, so many others. But in the private bar, in the private bar, we have Chief Olani Kwekun S.A.M., Chief Wale Olani Kwekun S.A.M. Uh, possibly the wealthiest of uh, lawyers in the country. And, and I just told him that this business of paying half the cost of the generator, no, it's not, in, no, 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 no. He just simply has to buy the whole generator, and maybe a couple more. He was the first, I believe, the first of our alumnus to be conferred to the rank of SEN. I'm not certain whether that is correct or whether it was um, 
uh, whether it was uh, Chief Kanu Agabi, SAF. But he's easily the leading constitutional lawyer in Nigeria today. There's also the incredibly brilliant, late Bankoli Aluku, senior advocate of Nigeria, who co-founded, he co-founded what is probably one of the leading law firms in Nigeria today, Aluku Anoyebodi. And then there's Femi Olubanwo, co-founder of Banwo Anigodali. Recently, they won the Nigeria Law Firm of the Year Award. There's, of course, Dr. Babalaki S.A.M., who founded the famous Babalaki and Co. law firm and served as pro-chancellor of the University of Lagos. Another senior advocate, Fagbon, uh, Lanre Fagbon, Professor Lanre Fagbon, S.A.M., served as vice chancellor of the Lagos State University and led that transformation of the university, the five-year term that truly transformed that university. In the public service, of course, uh, you have both the second and fourth citizens who are products of this great faculty. The Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and, <laughs> and, the, right honorable, and the Right Honorable Speaker of the Ninth House of uh, uh, Representatives, the Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. Several former governors, uh, alumni, His Excellency David Jemi Bewon, was governor of the then Western State. Uh, His Excellency Gabriel Suzwam served as governor of Benue State. Professor A.A. Otwama served as deputy governor of Delta State. And two of my most senior aides uh, were also molded in the crucible of this great faculty. Mr. Adekwaya, who is the deputy chief of staff to the president, and Dr. Dumoke Oduwale, the special advisor to the president on ease of doing business. Both were former students and lecturers in the Faculty of Law, University of Lagos. Dr. Duwale was a holder of the Prince Claus Chair from 2013 to 2015. We even have notable traditional rulers, including His Royal Majesty, the Oba of Lagos, Oba Riwa Nakiolu, who ascended to the throne of his fathers uh, after rising to the rank, I believe, of AIG in the Nigeria Police Force. In the official bar, of course, we have Chief Kanu Agabi, senior advocate of Nigeria, who served as Attorney General and, uh, and the Honorable Minister of Justice, Chief uh, Christopher Bayo Ojo, SAN, also served as Attorney General of the Federation. Ade Tokumbo Kayode, also senior advocate of Nigeria, served as Attorney General of the Federation. And he, in fact, held two other ministerial positions. Then, of course, Mr. Odein Ajumogobi, a senior advocate of Nigeria, who served respectively as uh, the Honorable F- uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Petroleum. So I'm sure it cannot surprise anyone that we've consistently produced attorneys general in Lagos State, the heart of legal practice in Nigeria. In the first 20 years of the Fourth Republic, beginning in 1999, when I served as attorney general, then Shukwa Shashore, SAN, and Mr. Adekwaye, and of course, Professor Utwama. That was in Delta State. He served as Attorney General in Delta State, and then went on to become Deputy Governor of Delta State. And of course, our dear former Dean, Professor Oyelo Oyewo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, who is currently, who is currently serving as Attorney General and uh, Commissioner for Justice in Oyo State. Many of us, of course, will remember, and he was my classmate as well as uh, Odein's classmate, Adokia Mesimaka, who served as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in River State. Only recently, Bola Adeniro, you know, who, very young man, served as Attorney General in Ogun State. But some of our alumni have also excelled, you know, as both academics and highly successful courtroom lawyers. In academia, of course, the distinguished professor Taiwo Shipito, senior advocate of Nigeria. And he was legal advisor to the then chief of general staff in the Abdul Salam Abubakar administration. Dr. Muiz Banire, senior advocate of Nigeria, once commissioner for transport in Lagos State and chairman of AMCO. And of senior advocates, we have some who, uh, of course, have excelled in so many different ways, including Mr. Fidelis Odita, 
who is possibly the only one of us who is both Queen's Council and Senior Advocate of Nigeria. And uh, Mr. Olusha Gunfabumi, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Mr. Dabuaki Oshun, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. How about sports and entertainment? Many, of course, will remember that Adokia Mesimaka, while still in the faculty, and we were in the faculty of law then, O'Day was in the faculty, we were all there. He played football for the Sharks Football Club, for the Enugu Rangers, and also for ACB at that time, and was a member of the side that won the gold at the African Cup of Nations in 1980. Of course, he went on to become Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in, uh, in, uh, in River State. Our alumni have also disrupted the entertainment industry, especially the women. Our own Bolanle Austin Peters founded Nigeria's first privately owned ultra modern theater, the Terra Culture. And she's the brain behind the dance dramas, Saro the Musical, Fela and the Kalakuta Queens, and her film on the Ebola outbreak, 93 Days, was nominated in seven different categories and was the highest nominated film in the 2017 Africa Movie Academy Awards. And she is a lawyer, but of course she's defected into more, uh, possibly uh, more lucrative business. And how about Funke Akindele, the world famous Jennifer, an Academy Movie Award recipient and the producer of the movie Omoghetto, which is the highest grossing Nigerian movie of all time. And another famous alumna, Kemi Adetiba, who directed two block, uh, blockbuster films, The Wedding Party and The King of Boys. In the fashion world, you have Omoyemi Akirele. Now, these are all lawyers who defected, found something else they were interested in doing. And, and she, uh, Omoyemi Akirele, is raising the Nigerian flag high and creating room for others. And she is the initiator of the Lagos Fashion Week, a fashion platform that drives the Nigerian and African fashion industry. And so many others doing exceptional stuff everywhere. Of course, many of us also know uh, Mrs. Yet uh, Yetunde, uh, sorry, Yewande Zakios, who uh, not only studied in Unilag, went on to Cambridge, but also defected into event planning and distinguished herself uh, as one of the major, if not the major event planner in our country today. So our people are everywhere. I can brag from now till midnight. And you and there will still be more to talk about. They're just everywhere and doing incredible things. So let me end by congratulating the National Executive Committee of the Unilag Law Alumni Association for a successful celebration. We are not first among equals, and people should stop calling us first among equals. We are the first. There are no equals. God bless you. Thank you.